He's battered and bruised. But Nigel Farage is one politician whose election night misfortunes were eclipsed by the human drama he faced in the skies above Northamptonshire. Two days on, he's still in pain, but hasn't lost his sense of humour. Well, I'm not even keen on flying. <laughs> Part of this was to try and prove to myself that flying was, wasn't something to be scared of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the wreckage of this light aircraft is a vivid reminder of just how fortunate the former UKIP leader and his pilot was to survive the impact. They'd been towing a Vote UKIP sign on Thursday morning when it became tangled in the tail. As soon as we hooked onto this thing, he said, this is an emergency because the banner, we hadn't, it, it, it hadn't hooked up on a cord, uh, something had got caught over the tail. So we, we sort of went up and spent the next five minutes waiting to crash. After the plane struck the ground, the drama still wasn't over as both men were trapped in the crushed cockpit. The next bit was worse, really, because there was a strong smell of petrol. I could feel petrol in my hair, um, and I was trapped in this thing. And, and I was talking to Justin, the pilot. We were saying to each other, are you OK, are you OK? Um, but he was panicking there more than me because of the petrol. And I just this awful feeling that uh, we survived the impact, but, God, were, were we going to burn to death? And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty scary. And it was that brush with death which has put everything else into context. Nigel Farage lost his bid to become a Westminster MP on Thursday, but that disappointment has been tempered by the knowledge that at least he's still here to fight another day. Mark White, Sky News in Oxford.